I'm here today with Annie Bialetska jones who is a well-known textile artist. You are known, Annie, for your landscapes, aren't you? I think I am. Uh, currently known. known. Currently known for yes. my landscapes. Um, many of them are rooted in my upbringing in Snowdonia. Oh, right. And there is one just behind me here, which shows a whole mountain range, which is Snowdonia. And they are done from the viewpoint of being on a boat looking back at the land. And they have a feeling of a bit of geology in. Yeah, they're very. Uh, they're very you can see those linear. linear yes, yes, and the layering of, of the landscape and the sea in the very front and then the sky at the back. So I look all the way back. Okay, through the generations, uh, this really. and the perspective is yes, there. Yes, and the the, uh, the landscape that hasn't changed over time. Right. I find that very empowering and inspiring. Yes. To uh, think that I'm working in a landscape now that my ancestors worked in, and I'm physically worked in, and, and, and saw, yes. and saw, and yeah. lived in, because my grandfather was a slate quarryman, and in this long picture behind me. There's a purple streak and a maroon streak mm -hmm. underneath the mountains, which represents the slate quarries where right. they worked in Blaina, Fistiniog and Snowdonia. Okay. So that's where the landscapes are rooted. But living here in Wivenhoe, again on the coast, the seascapes have been quite important. Um, the Essex coastline is very flat, completely separate and different to my upbringing in the hills and the mountains. And what people seem to love down here are the small fishes that I make in different sizes. And I've made an altar frontal in the local church. Yeah, I've got a piece here, I think, of your fishes. You have. Uh, that's it. Here we go. Here that's we go. a little fish panel. But I've made those in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And children like them. Families like them. People hang them in their kitchens. And all sorts of fabrics, as you all say. All sorts it's of fabrics. Got, you've got shiny stuff in there. I have. See how technical I am. Yes. <laughs> shiny <laughs> stuff. <laughs> which, which reflect the light. Yes. Gorgeous. And work. Gorgeous. Um, near windows. So do, they, you, do, you, do, do you mind the, the, the fabric that, that you're working in? Or is, are you dictated by the colour, that the fam, that, whether it's, it's silk or cotton? or is Sometimes I, mean. I do introduce some cotton into the fish. Right. Uh, but sometimes I want a frayed edge that looks like a fin or a fish tail. Okay. So I will look for something that can be deliberately achieve frayed that. Yes. in order to achieve it. And I overlap them and I make the fish in different sizes. Some are minute mm. and some are very large. And um, you finish them off by hand or by machine? I start Depends them off the by hand and right. I sometimes finish them off by hand if they're small enough, like this one is hand finished. But usually the very large ones, which could be up to eight feet long, wow. had to be yes, put machine on a work. Machine. Yes, yes, yes. And <coughs> the, the, the landscapes you're working in in cotton or silk, or again, it's the the, 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 the end result that you're, you're looking at. Well, I, I approach the making of a landscape such as this one on canvas because I trained as a fine artist. Oh right. And I approach it as if it was going to be a painting, and I feel that I'm using the fabric as paint quite yes, often. That, and that's very obvious that when, yeah, when the I way look they at it. The colours yes. flow into each yes, other yes. and a sense of perspective as well, which and, is... And you've also got texture in that too, texture. which kind of like crumpled bits. That's right. Yeah. But most of the fabrics in, in these are silks, okay. which are very soft and yes. easily pliable and movable. And obviously give you the colour range that you're looking yes. at. Yes, and they can be layered. Of course, and, and fringe. Yes, yes. And they're, they're very yes. nice to work with. Yes. Well, silk is certainly not a medium that I work in. Um, I tend to work as cotton because you know I'm a quilt teacher. You are. And you and I met many, a few years ago now when you came to my quilt class I to did. learn how to make this I lovely did. quilt in front of yes, us. Yes, and I'm very proud of this quilt. Well, I think it's gorgeous. You did um, a good job. When I first saw the fabric uh, that actually had been chosen for me by your our mutual friend, our friend of Hillary, friend, Hillary yes. yes. I thought, yuck, I can't stand <laughs> it. It was black background with red and Lots red of poppies. poppies. Lots of poppies, yes. Oh, were they tulips? Yes. 
Tulips. No, no, Poppy, I don't. Sorry. Well, yes, <coughs> I've forgotten. I, I think you're right. I know. I think you're right. Oh, here I'm we wrong. Are. There's a poppy. Tulips. It is a poppy. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. yes, but it's called Stack and Whack, and we had to have eight repeats, and and it was a little challenging. But this is a huge quilt, and and we've got you've got a picture on your website which um, shows the whole quilt finished. But it's very big and very heavy. And it is good and job. Very dramatic. Yes, actually, and black and, and red. Yes, so you did yes. a lovely job. Thank you did you. a lovely job. So, Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm so, very proud of this quilt because I did try to make it properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, a, few, um, a few of my students will laugh when you I'm say the word properly. It to you today is also a little bit embarrassing because I can see one or two Listen, corners it's finished, that are perfect. which is better than perfect. <laughs> but we're going to. I'm going to have a look at a few of your other quilts because <coughs> um, you're you're inspired by the fabrics, aren't you? I am. You were saying yes. you've got a, a, a range here of. Of African yes. themed quilts. Yes, and I'm also inspired by places where I've lived right. for any length of time, um, the sort of spirit of the place, mm -hmm. if you like. And this one is batiks from West Africa that I've made into a small quilt for children or a play mat. And we, Mark and I, lived in Nigeria for a while, and I think when I look back on my life. <laughs> I can see the inspiration of the colours of the places where mm -hmm. I visited and lived in. Oh, I'm sure they all have an impact uh, on yes, us, don't they? Yes, I think they do, yes. subconsciously, actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. but it's a si it's simple design, but not to detract from the, from, from the use of it. It's a plain square, why cut it up? Yep, yeah. yeah. And the contrast, of course, is very yes. important in a quilt, isn't yes, it? Yes, it, it is. To put the light and the dark yes, it is. next to each other, and, and here again. And see. this I like particularly, because you've taken these lovely pre-printed yep. little squares I have. as your focus. Yes, African... Uh, yes. safari animals yes. yeah and um, my grandchildren particularly like these and I, I like the way that there isn't a, it does, or there doesn't look to, to be a formal structure to this it looks to me like it's evolved the way that sort of fabric should yes it has evolved so again another you do you do big quilts I do. <laughs> Well, they seem to go on and on, don't they? Once you start in the centre, and you don't know quite where oh, to okay. finish. That's the evolving bit, that's isn't it? You add a bit, and you, then you've got to play all these these lovely fabrics on the outside. I mean, they are it's brilliant. It's these are all cotton such of fun again. And easy to wash and keep yes. clean. Well, well and used and loved. They are well used and loved, and again, simple design, but the fabrics yeah. do the work. Yeah, and they? this, of course, is based on the log cabin. Yes, design, I can as see you that. Can see yes, them, yes, which is also yes. very easy to make. Yes, quick. well, it doesn't, it doesn't doesn't matter, does it? And then again, this one, this one has got more complicated uh, uh, quilting on it. It does. You you've um, spent some time doing some quilting on I this have. one. Yes, yes, and it's, it's reversible. Very yes. So the design on the other side is. Quite that's different. the uh, that's the lovely thing for me about traditional quilts is that they always were reversible. The uh, the back was as important as the yes. front. Yes. Yes. And yes. again, this one has grown and grown, like yeah. Topsy. Yeah. And it's about the same size as the one uh, I made the with first you. One. Yes. Which is about yes. eight feet or nine <gasps> feet square. I know they're big. They're heavy. They're, they I, I brought big. them in, into the room. They're. I know they're heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so this was. Tell me about this other phase of your life. These well, uh, here we are. Painted quilts. Painted quilts. Um, I like painting, and I also like quilt making. But I don't see myself as a quilt maker in the sense that that is the only thing I do. But what I've done here is to think as if I was making a quilt out of paint, the squares, and then applied a bit of silver and gold to bring the light through, and then added little bits of gold work, because I've done gold work embroidery. So it's a sort of crossover between lots of different methods of work. Mm. And it's been very nicely framed and that's fine. It's a yes. By fun, Nick, a fun who does frame. all my framing. It's a fun and frame. And it's um, a tray frame, so oh, okay. it drops into the it drops tray. Drops in. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I think that works quite well without the glass on it. I, I I love it without the glass. I must say. Yes. You've got another piece on the wall that's that's hanging up over uh, over there, um, which is also looks to me like a quilt. It is. It's it it's a painted quilt. That's what I call Again. them. Yes. yes. And quite a simple method of working. So on canvas? On canvas. Yeah. Yep. Okay. On okay. canvas. In the same as my bigger pictures are on yes. the canvas. Oh, on canvas. Yes. Again. So there's yes. a sort of thread running through yes. all my work. So, 
Is it similar, similar uh, materials? Yes. Okay. Yes. So still on the patchwork theme, though. Okay. We're going to look at... I put this aside here. I, I'm fascinated by the fact that this is random. To me, this is random patchwork. If I did knitted it, I'd have to sew it together. But you said no. No, I don't sew it together. It doesn't happen it, like that. No, I start in the middle. Again, a bit like log cabin. And then I pick up the stitches at the edge and carry on in another colour. And there's no sewing here at all. It's and then such fun. It's you can work fun. from one side and onto the other. This, I but think, was meant to be a cushion cover. But um, I don't know. It hasn't found its cushion yet. Well, it's found a teddy bear. <laughs> uh, and it, it wraps around the teddy bear. <laughs> Lovely. And this is a bigger version. It is. I, I love this idea. I really do. I think this is such fun. Well, have I got it upside down? Sorry, I'm not a knitter. So I probably have, yes. Yeah. Look, I'm showing everybody the seams. I'm sorry yeah, about that. That's all right. That's a better, well, a better fin. Got it's, a little got, little it's got a better it's, it's a finish. But yeah. it, it is all kind of random. This and what a great use knitting. of all those little bits. Absolutely. And all sorts of... There's sock wool in here. There's bits of nice wools with gold threads Yeah, in. look. Look at all these. Wools that I found on my travels here and there. And a little bit of darkness there, but mostly bright colours. And this is a nice little lap quilt. It's, it's, it's delightful. It's delightful. It, yeah, and it's yes. light yeah. and warm. So do you do this just winter evenings yes. or when, you, when you're not doing a kind of proper thing, just to allow you to yeah. be creative? The sort of knitted things I do at home. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we, uh, we've got um, some other ideas that you said are, are your holiday work or this your holiday, holiday playtime. Yes. Because you've got little pieces and you little still like pieces. to be creative. I call these my little jewels. Um, they're quite small. And when I go away on holiday, I always have a bag of scraps and thread. And again, a bit of gold work. Random, loose gold work. It's hand-stitched. And these two are a pair that I made on holiday in the Azores, sitting oh, wow. looking at a waterfall oh, my. in the countryside. And they evolved. It's, it's just free embroidery, but that's fun to do. I was going to say, this is, this is kind of woven little pieces too. This one's behind glass. So yes, this and, is... And this one too. It's got, can you see, very long French knots in it. The blue are very long French knots. Oh my! Knots, yes. Which is my favourite stitch. Oh, I don't know how to do that. And mm. it's, it's, a, it's a landscape or it a is. seascape. It is. It is. I know, that's very, very clear. And I made this a long time ago because I had this beautiful frame and I thought I've got to find something that will look Oh, that's an interesting in this you're frame. Going to, yes, from the outside in to find yes. something to fit it. Yes. How interesting. Yes. Because the Victorians used to do that, didn't they? They used to frame their little scraps yes. of embroidery in the yes, most they, lovely yes, frames. Yes, they did. Yes, they and, did. And um, that's what encouraged yes. me with this one. Yes. Yeah, and no. this has actually um, moved into me making much larger landscapes on this theme. On, on uh, with, with, or with again with thread. Sort of. Oh, with the millennia. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, so I, yes, absolutely lovely, Annie. Thank you so much for inviting us in and showing us the actually the wide range of textile art yes, that you create. Quite a range, but yes, it's all very, very interesting. You're a very creative lady. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. <laughs>